Sunday, June 27, on location, north central Minnesota, on a little hidden away lake. Tucked back up in the woods. It isn't the easiest to get to. Lake X. Lake Mindatelli. <laughs> uh, some, some history here. Uh, we've been here before and tried to pull off an episode, and then fishing wasn't that great. We ended up with a couple of big fish, but nothing really to put an episode around together. So we come back. We got moon overhead still uh, from uh, from last night, and uh, this first couple hours could be epic. Real legit shot at five pound bass, 20 pound northerns, and true one pound bluegills. Crappies. And giant crappies too. I forget Ready about for them, day. right? Yeah. All right, check it out. This could be an epic eye Savage. fish chronicles. Oh, I got a bug on the lens. That's rock and roll. with a buzz bait that was pretty cool threw a spinner bait about 10 casts without a bite let's see if we can get one on death so that's the kind of day we can can almost hope for it could be just super super good fishing it's gonna be hard to uh keep up with trying to film it all it's gonna be it's gonna be amazing it really <laughs> is i mean we just literally got started a couple casts with a Spinner bait, one with a yeah, real simple box. stuff, just a buzz bait, spinner bait stuff, maybe some worms and stuff later, but it's kind of a they they'll chomp and chew anything you throw at it, so it's good stuff. Oh, there we go. Number two, nice Number little two. chunker, super healthy. It's all been about uh, two minutes since our last little Yeah, maybe fishing. we're losing our shadow, so we come along the north shot north uh the south shoreline, I should say, to try and get the last bit of the shadowing and have a couple pile up on it. Anyway, I haven't thrown this spinnerbait in years. Oh. Got some weight through it? I think it got into the weeds. Oh. There's a lot of cabbage down in the it, tight of my Right. Here, here. Yeah, it's got good down in there. Oh, nice and come out, nice and easy. Keep coming, keep coming, keep coming. Yeah, got away. Nice little bass. Oh, yeah. Let me tell you what I want. Oh, you switched to a little crankbait action. I did. I'm a little sneaky guy. I didn't yeah. know you were going to cheat. <laughs> Cheating already. Yeah. Nice little bass. Nice work. Keep her up. Yeah. Just little chunkers still so far. Yeah. He nailed it though. It was way out there on the extent of the cast. Almost immediately when he hit the ground or yeah. the water. Just boom. Yeah. I was bleeding a little bit too. Sorry, buddy. Switch back to a spinner bait. I'm always, I always like to run a treble hook and a quad tail on the back. It just gives it that ever extra little bit of action. I like it. It'll guarantee as well with that hook set. Yeah, right. <laughs> Size to him? No, yeah. just the same size, huh? Okay. God damn. I mean, we, haven't even, we haven't even seen no 16 inches. You know what I'm saying? I mean, they're healthy. Yeah, super healthy. The big ones are just uh, not uh, ready to snap no, yet. No, no. Wonder what the major for the day is. 
Moon's setting. Yeah, moon's gone, I think now. Gotta be careful in these parts. Dale just had a northern pike attack that fish right as it was coming in. Takes a pretty big mouth in order to get across there, you know what I mean? That's a pretty decent sized mouth. They ain't scared. Oof. Dude, I dropped my rod. To film me. To film you. And look at this fish that latched on while I wasn't paying attention. Oh my God. Oh wow. <laughs> oh, yeah, dude. It's a taker. Oh, don't jump too much. Don't jump too much. Don't jump too much. Oh. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> I guess uh, we got to just set her still oh. a little bit better. Hey. If you can't catch them, just throw your rod down. And look at how far. Leave 50 feet of slack. Look at wow. that. You think he was hungry? My goodness. Oh, man. He liked that chigger craw. Big time. Can you grab me a needle nose, please? I can. Absolutely. Whew. Yeah, I'll take that. All right. To be released for another day. Beautiful. She's getting part of a chigger craw in her diet, too. Oh, see you later. Alligator. Awesome, dude. I think we might have figured something out. Got down on the weeds on me. That was about a three-pounder. It's a nice fish, though. Yeah, I mean... We're finding them, finding the bigger ones a little deeper. So that's uh... that was even where they I uh, was just complaining that the bluegills were pulling the pincers off of my chigger cross. Oh, come on, are you serious? Down and away, thank you. <laughs> I was just complaining, I only had one of its pincers left, but he didn't mind. And this fish came right where that 18 inch had just come from, the exact same spot. You can almost see where, oh, it's light, 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 light. And then it goes dark. And then you can actually see weeds coming up. And then both those fish were right out here off the, oh! That probably got the camera lens, huh? <laughs> I think it missed it. Oh, good, thank God. No, no, oh, it's a bass. We're cooking now. Now it's almost every cast. The future's bright. <laughs> the future's bright. <laughs> we just gotta, we gotta get a 20 inch. Gotta find mama and papa. Get, we're gonna get a five pounder, right? I hope so. How about that for a cast? All right. Nice. Gonna have to conger down a long time. That, that hook I put it on isn't the heaviest hook. It's got that belly weight design thing. Already there. <laughs> I don't know what's happening. Oh. They're stacked up, dude. <laughs> Not that big, but they're there for sure. Oh, they're there. Yeah. Like I say, I think it'll be just a matter of time or we'll find the right bundle. But yeah, it's it's uh <laughs> it's on right now. <laughs> they're starting to chew pretty good. Uh, yeah, just that purple fleck, purple blue fleck lizard. I don't even know. That's an old, well, it's, I know it's an old Berkeley product, but I, uh, I mean, I've had that literally in my tackle box for probably since Bemidji. I literally, I bought that, I bet that I bought that at Kabilka's in Bemidji, Minnesota and that's the in like 1994. They don't mind it. They don't mind sugar craws with only one craw too. I think they're just plain hungry now. That sounded like it had some weight. Oh! I like that. Hey, I like that anyway. That I mean, was pretty killer. <laughs> They're biting. They're biting. <laughs> Got a little more fight to it. It may not be bigger, but... Oh, yeah. Oh! oh. Hey. I have to run to the front. I'm well, on. yeah. Your, your, your base is okay. Are you sure? Try to see if I can get us a double. Oh, dude, you better come up and get that. That's a big fish, man. Oh, my God, Dale. That is a dandy problem. 
Oh, greasy. Oh, 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 there. Right now. where it's supposed to be. Right where it's supposed to be. Oh, man. Oh, I think it's the second biggest of the day. Yeah, you know? that's 17 inch. That's solid 17 incher. Yeah. Very nice. Very. Do I have a fish on? No. <laughs> wow. Let's get a still of that one actually too. Okay. Here, hang on. All right. Nice. Let's get a nice release on that bad boy. Get ready. Oh, nice. Didn't even get me wet. <laughs> right. Didn't even give you the splash in the face. I was trying my damnedest to get a double there and I couldn't get it to go. Uh, okay. Snap jigging. There's another more decent one there. Yeah, it is. Mm. Yes, it is. Look at that bass. Yes, it there. is. <laughs> oh. Wow, that one I'd cast it way out there. And it, uh, that really made the line jump. He was not coming off. Either way. Oh my Pretty much gosh. 12 to 20 feet uh, seems to be the hot ticket right oh, now. Oh, yeah. And it's such clear water, they can store them up off the bottom so hard, you know. Just beautiful, nice. chunky fish. Whew, that was nice. That might be the biggest bass of my life. That might be the biggest one of my life. Oh my god, that's a tank, dude. Here, let me get the net. Oh, yeah, please. Yeah, what are we doing? I don't need to hand land that. Yeah, I got it. Oh, that's a big giant bass. Oh my god. We got it. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Kind of a crap show. We were moving the boat and. Just, just trying to move. I'm like, I just finished the cast. <laughs> It was straight down below the pontoon. Let's take a peek at it. Oh my Let's God. Let's see what this is all about here. Oh, that's been years since I've caught one like that. Oh, that is. Oh, it. dude, that might be the biggest. I don't know. Holy moly. Oh my God. We don't have a delier anywhere, do we? It has been a long time. Holy smoke. That uh, has been a long time. I'm going to stop this for a second and get a couple stills. Please. We'll have to update uh, in text uh, here in a little while. Good wow. job, Kurt. Wow. Excellent. Let's see this thing swim away. Back to home. Wow. Beauty. I fish chronicles, baby. <laughs> this is this is nice fish. Whoo. Don't jump, don't jump, don't jump. It's almost exactly like the other one I just threw back five seconds ago. Back to back casts, back to backs, 15 and a half, 15 inches. Nice, nice. <laughs> just destroying it. Just destroy it. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Fantastic. Let's get after it, man. Fantastic. This is awesome. Awesome, awesome. <laughs> Dude, I couldn't even put the other rod away. I took out my back to you and you cast and <laughs> this might end up having to be an hour and a half show. <laughs> three cast, three fish. <laughs> oh man, they're on the chew right out here. Right out here in the in this I don't know if you call it a bay, even just a depression in the shoreline. But we're still fishing in that uh, 12 to 20 feet of water. We got the wind blowing in out of the yeah, north. Yeah, the wind blowing in seems to be, obviously, I mean, they talk about it all the time, but just ruffling up the surface, man, it really has the fish firing big time now. It's crazy. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> you got that underneath the water. And... <laughs> Wait a second. Watch this. Oh, stop it. No, I got it. All right. All right. Watch this. Hula popping for bluegill. Hula popping for bluegill. The one had it and just took it all the way four feet under the surface. There 
there's a bass. Oh. What a beautiful. Oh my gosh. <laughs> That's, <laughs> that's one of the best. <laughs> <laughs> that's hard to get stuff like that to happen on film. You know, and I had that on close up too. Oh, I mean, I did was you right really? on it when it came up. So. <laughs> that's so hard to get to happen. Uh... <laughs> uh, so we're sp still back out on the mid lake hump. Huh? And I just thought it was so funny that the bluegills were just attacking this hula popper. And then you get a different commitment. <laughs> that's awesome. Killer. That's killer. All right, we just had another boil. We're going to see if we can get this fish to come on camera again, too. It was a decent boil, too. It was no five pounder, but. Looks like we're almost coming to the end of it here too, a little bit, huh? Yeah, we're starting to get off the back edge. Okay. That maybe why we ran out of our weeds up on top there. Maybe I won't get bit. That last one was definitely when there's still some weeds on the... There's a few, I guess. Just drop it a little deeper. As soon as we stop the camera, then it'll, then it'll have an explosion. Nope, couldn't get him to go. Oh my god! <laughs> I did not stop filming. <laughs> we got her. Just when you thought it was over. Just one of those days. All day long, the future is bright. The future is bright. All right, fish have been going nuts for the hula popper here. I just had a big one boil on it. The wind and everything is just perfect. We're gonna see if we can get this sucker to recommit again. And I've been working it hard, like really moving water with it. And the fish are reacting like it's something that they've never seen before. You're working like, I mean, normally like that's, Florida bass, huh? Nor, yeah, nor, I mean, it's like peacock bass fishing. I mean, I'm popping it, and they just can't take it. Bluegills are on it. I mean... Normally, I would never rip it that hard, but they just seem to want to just freak on it that way. Alright, one more time. That last swirl was, it moved a lot of water. Really moved a lot of water. You know, 40 inch pike have been known to hit these before too. Once in a while. Oh, oh I missed it. You missed it. You come oh, back. Oh, missed it. There he is. <laughs> yes. There he is. There he is. Awesome. <laughs> Oh man. <laughs> Conditions are perfect. I just said that. <laughs> when the camera 
when we weren't filming, I'm like, uh oh, I was like, things, this is just, it's too perfect right now. And uh, the big swirl happened. I need we said, please, please get the camera, let's get her uh, done. Oh, and then it pops right out when I don't try. Okay. Yeah, fun stuff. Not giants yet, but. I wanted a five pounder today and we had one of those already, so I'm satisfied, but yeah, it's been epic watching blow up on the old hula popper, the old classic frog hula. I haven't thrown this lure in years. It's epic. <laughs> great day on the water, Dale. Thank you so much for joining me. What a, what a great morning, what a great afternoon. Um, you know, the only thing we didn't get was a big pike. Otherwise, we got a big bass. Of course, all the big bluegills that we caught. No big crappies. Had a few crappies on, but um, the bass fishing was was epic. I mean, it was it was really good. It was really good. Thanks to all the pure fishing uh, brands, Abel Garcia. We were using uh, Ugly Sticks today. Uh, Berkeley Powerbait Jigger Cross. They really seem to be a difference maker today. The chicken grass were, were wild, but um, just a lot of a great memory here today. I mean, just awesome. Especially with the conditions, how they changed, you know what I mean? And just the movement of the day and how we did all the different lures and from spinner baits to, to deep stuff to figure eighting, doing uh, musky uh, swirls with uh, trout lures for bluegills right i mean you can't make it up so another great time dale thank you everybody until next time i fish chronicles see you later